Hey everybody, so for this final uh, bonus step here, what we're going to be doing is we're going to set it up so we can unlock the minimap with a pickup. Um, so to do that, um, we need to already have the minimap steps finished. So if you haven't finished week two and, and gotten credit for all those steps, go ahead and do that first and then come back. Um, so before we do anything, what we're going to do is we're going to find that minimap canvas object and we're going to disable it. Um, that's just going to turn the minimap off. And then what we're going to do is in the pre environment resources prefabs environment folder, there's going to be a prefab called scroll. Let's go ahead and add that out into our world. Um, it's kind of a big scroll, but that's all right. Um, what we want to do is we want to rotate it so it's whoa. I don't know why that keeps happening. Um, we want to rotate it so it's on its side like so. And then what we're going to do is add the component box collider, um, and that's going to add this nice big collider to it. Um, but we're going to set that to is trigger, um, and then we actually are going to do a little bit of scripting with the steps. So what we're going to do is hit add component, go to new script, and type um, minimap pickup, just like that. Um, you will have to go to the assets folder after you add your script. Um, grab that minimap pickup object and drag that into the scripts created folder down below um, and then open up that uh, minimap pickup script. Um, inside this script here what we're going to do is um, we are going to grab a reference to the minimap game object so we're going to say um, or add a variable at the top called game object minimap and then in start we're going to say um, minimap e oops minimap equals uh, game object oops with a capital G game object dot find and then in quotation marks player so we're going to search for the player object and then we're going to say dot transform dot find so this is now going to search through its children um, and we're going to find an object called minimap um, or minimap canvas and we're actually going to have to redo we're actually going to want to re-enable that object because they overlooked something and I'm realizing that now um, so we're going to say uh, minimap dot uh, transform dot find minimap dot game object um, so nice super long line but that's essentially going to say that okay we now have that minimap and so in start we're actually going to disable um, we're going to disable that minimap. So we're going to set active to false. So that's going to guarantee that we're if our minimap pickup is in the in the scene with our player, then that minimap game object and canvas are going to be disabled for us. Um, then what we're going to do is go down into void on trigger enter, and we're going to say if other dot tag equals player, then we're going to destroy this game object. Um, but we're also going to say we're going to give this a 0.25 second delay. Um, and then we're also going to go ahead and say minimap.set active is true. So that's going to turn the minimap on when we touch it. Um, so then we just need to go back over to that minimap game object um, and turn it back on. Um, just like so. But we'll double check that our school prefab has that on there. We're actually going to go ahead and override that prefab so that it's in all the scenes we can add the scroll. Um, and then if we, uh, yeah, if you hit play, you'll, you'll be able to see that it actually uh, it works. It unlocks your, your minimap for you. Um, yeah, so once you've got that done, go ahead and save your scene.